dark. Yeah, I know. If I go in the house, this don't it, it ain't gonna connect. My the connection bad out here. So if I go in the house, it ain't gonna connect. So I'm right outside the house. We're gonna get started, yo, yo, yo. What's the word, man? It's your boy smoking me TV, rolling up another one. About to catch this cipher. You know what I'm saying? Today, my I got a, a legend co-host. You know what I'm saying? A legend in the game. Coach Ron Sims. Your favorite fighter that been through this man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite fighter been through this man right here. If they didn't come through this man, there was nobody in the amateurs. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the interview today with Troy Isley. How you doing today, Troy? Coach Ron? Do, doing good. Doing good, man. So good. Up? How's it going, Troy? Going good, Ron. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good to see you, man. You you ready for your fight? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm more than ready. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, you know, I did a few weeks for uh, with Coach Al, and you know, I'm about to finish up camp in Vegas. Uh, getting some good sparring. Got some good sparring this morning, and I got just got done doing a strength and conditioning session. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, when you got a fight coming up? When is that? I got a fight August 13th. August 13th. On and that, the, that's uh, it's in Vegas, Las Vegas, on the TFMO Lopez card. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you 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 up there with some names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been staying busy this year for sure, for sure. All right, all right. So um, what what um, we let the people know where you came from, like where you was born at. You know what I'm saying? And um, like how was it growing up there? Well, I'm, I'm from, I was born in D.C. My family resides out of Washington, D.C. When I was born in particular, we moved over to Bridge, Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, Alexandria is very peaceful. I mean, not a lot happens. You can walk the streets peaceful. It's not a lot. Not a lot happens. It's a great town. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of a lot of different races. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great city. Not a lot of not a lot of stuff happens, you know, where I'm from. So, you know, uh, I, I moved to Alexandria, a great city. Uh, and then uh I would get into a lot of fights growing up, you know, in the hood and neighborhood and stuff like that. So, uh, and then I went to this recreation center. My boxing gym is at this recreation center. And I went to this recreation center from every day after school and then every day in the summer from five to 13. Still, and then uh, when, I, I, when I, I would just fight every day. So I would always. Kind of in the matrix, Troy. And Coach Ron, too, man, you can chime in whenever you feel like it, man. You, you co host, you can chime in whenever you feel like it. Yo, Troy, I don't know if you can hear me. Every day my dad me up. You going in and out, you spinning. There you go. Uh, is it good now? Yeah, yeah, you good, brother. Hello? Yeah. All right, where did, where did you lose me at? Um, Where you lose me at? Basically, at, in the beginning. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. In the, all right. So, so uh, I got to Alexandria. Alexandria peaceful. Not a lot of stuff happens. Not you know. So I was always fighting and stuff like that. And then uh, they walked me to the gym and was like, "This kid's always fighting." Charles used to run Razor Center. That's where my boxing gym is at. He's like, "You're always fighting. Can you do something with him?" Like he fight every day from five from from when he was five years old. This dude fighting every day. And he, and the kid was like, "This dude fight every day." And they was like, yeah. And I sat down in there. I didn't do nothing. I just watched it. I sat down and I played football first. Then my dad picked me up from there and was like, uh, you want to try it out? And I was like, yeah. And it was a, it was a instant, instant fit. It just felt good. Uh, and then also, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't the best team player. I was better at relying. I was just better at a single person sport. So boxing was just my sport. I liked it and I stuck with it. My, once my dad believed in me, uh, you know, he gave me the confidence. You know, my dad would always talk to me every day. And, you know, that would give me the drive to always want to come back and, you know, keep working, keep working. I talked to my dad every day. And, you know, I'd always just want to come back and keep working. And, you know, it just felt good. That's what happened in the beginning. And uh, I didn't, I mean, it, 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 I, was, I was good in the beginning. So I was good, like, like against the local people. Like, local people, I was good. And then, you know, they start bringing, like, uh, Chop Chop Corley's son, Demario Corley. He he was probably the first one to like start giving me problems. He came, they brought him over there, and you know it was a quick it was a it was a development for me. I I started at eight. I didn't fight till I was eleven. So you know I wasn't the best in the beginning. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't the best in the beginning, but I stuck with it, 
and I kept coming back. You know, I didn't have my, my good days. I was a crying. I was crying every time. You know, if I didn't have a good day, I'm in there crying, pouting about it, stuff like that. But my dad even thought about taking me out. My dad, like, you know, I just wanted them, you know, learn how to defend himself. He stuff stuff like that. But my dad even told me, like, shit, sure, you just you kept coming back. He was like, no, nah, I ain't. I kept coming back in uh, 2011. I went to the Silver Glove Nationals, made it all the way to the finals. I won regionals, one states, made it to the finals, and it was up from there. I met Ron later on that summer, and you know it was up from there. Hey. Yeah, Troy, Troy, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out. Man, it's the first time I noticed that you sound like Antoine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all talk just alike, man. I didn't, I never ever noticed that in my life. <laughs> Yeah, Virgos, Virgos. Maybe it's the Virgo thing. I don't know, but nah, that was big, bro, man. Uh, Tuan actually he's a big development too. Tuan came to the gym uh, when I was, I want to say, ten or eleven. Tuan came to the gym, and you know, before that, I didn't have that big brother, big brother. I, it was a lot of me and a lot of younger people. So Tuan came, that gave me a person to look up to, and uh, and I wanted to be just like him. That's exactly what I wanted to be like growing up. You know, I still talk to Twan. You know, Twan's always my big brother. You know, but that's cool. That's cool. Yo, bro, brother, how, how old are you, Troy? You, you 23, 23, 23. I'll be twenty four in September. You young, bro. Big young dude, man. You big as shit. Pause. <laughs> you good? You good? You good? You good. <laughs> you's a big dude, man. That we was just—it's crazy. We was just talking about that. Like you a big, you like you, you's a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. So what weight is you fighting this this fight? What, what's your weight gonna be? It's middle. It's middle. It's middle. So I mean, right now, uh, like we working our weight now. So I mean, if we working our weight now, we're gonna see about fifty four. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't really think I'm gonna be able to make fifty four. I, I think I can make it now, but I really think like two years from now, I don't. I don't think I will be close to fifty four. I really think I'm gonna be at sixty. So like we're really developing at 60. So I mean, I tell them we're going to 54 right now, but they give me 60 pound guys. So I mean, really it's 160 because I'll be fighting 160 pound people, middleweights. Yeah. You know, Troy, I I speak about this a lot, you know, with the guys about, you know, these young kids that that turn pro and they and they and they lose down, they lose the weight to get down to another weight class. Uh but I, one thing I notice is most of the most of the elite of the elite boxers yeah. go pro. They don't go. They don't they, go down. They they, mm -hmm. they stay the same weight class, like Shakur and you know people like they stay the weight, the same weight class. And a lot yeah. of these young kids, even though you're growing, you still they still somehow convince you guys to to lose that weight. Uh, and yeah. you're, you're growing. You're not an older. You're not an older person that's that stopped growing. That that kind of confuses me a little bit, now, and I think that um, you know a lot of a lot of the uh, the elite of elite, they believe in their skill, they trust in their skill, uh, and, uh, you know even though they they do have you know they get bigger and, and have to make weight, but I think they trust more in their skill. Yeah, I feel like early on, earlier on, it was it was more of a. I want to say early on, I kind of worried about a little more of the weight and stuff like that. But like now, since I'm getting more comfortable being a pro, I'm not as worried about it no more. But earlier on, I was thinking like I got to go down to 54. But like now, I'm not really worried about it as as much now because I'm starting to get comfortable with it. So, yeah. Uh, so how, how was like the how was the amateurs for you? Uh, amateurs was, was good. I mean, uh I was good as a JL, uh, you know, JL national stuff like that. I was one of them. I was more like as a JL, I was like underground. So I mean, I was I was more I was known, but I wasn't known. But you know, everybody that knew me knew that I could fight. So uh, as a JLs, uh, you know, I it, I was good. I couldn't. So I, I would always make it to like the finals or the semis and stuff like that. Sometimes I couldn't get over the hump. And uh, it's, it, it's yeah. more, I got I got to interrupt here. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, even before, he, um, you know, he was he, he was making. I mean, every time he got in the ring, when he got in the ring, the crowd was in. He, the crowd was in front of his ring. You have three rings going. If he stepped in the ring, the crowd was in front of his ring. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, uh, he was he was that he was that type of fighter, man. I mean, he I mean, when you get in the ring, you know it's gonna be a fight. So people mm -hmm. always came to see him fight. He's exciting, it's exciting. Even today, 
You, hey. you know, I already today I already know because I've been paying attention for a while. It's crazy because mm-hmm. I've been watching you, right? And um, I hear Coach talk about you all the time, Coach and um, Coach C, um, Sereso Ford. They, mm-hmm. they, they, they talk highly of you, and um, I interview a coach named Coach Troy, right? So I'm oh, I'm thinking that this is the guy that they're talking about. So yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah, yo, I interviewed Troy. They like, yo, you know what I'm saying, and at first when I'm described, they like, yeah, yo, you Troy Isley, man, that's the man. And then I'm like, now nah, hold on, that's two different men. You know what I'm saying, and then, and then Coach Ryan realized, and then I went to go, I went to go research you, and I'm like, wait, hold on, I've been watching this dude fight for a little minute. I'm yeah. like, it's, it's a beast, like you got a dog in you. you know what I'm yeah. saying, Coach, I, I see what Coach Ryan's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now Ron, me and Ron, you know, Ron Ron had me, you know, taking me to Keystone with, with Twan and uh Twan and Mike Reed and all the other people, you know, grown men sparring. I'm like 14, I'm in there sparring them. So Ron man, know all the yeah. stories. Yeah, Ron yeah, know all yeah. the stories, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I was about to say, I was like, hey, we was gonna spar Troy, we put it on. And uh, as a matter of fact, I remember you sparred the Russian guy, right? Yeah. I remember you sparred the Russian guy and um and Troy was putting it on him. So they're yeah, gonna they're gonna try to put in another Russian guy, an older guy. You remember they put in a yeah. second one. And he tried to like talk trash and stuff yeah, like no, that. No, they try yeah. to like try to rough house him and all that. I said, hold on, I said, man, this I said, this is a 15-year-old boy. What are you doing? I said, said no, nah, we ain't doing this though. They said, Oh, he's only 15. I said, Yeah, he's only 15. Yeah, they, they knew he I was only 15, though. Know? They knew I was young. They, <laughs> they like, me for a while. Like a they match, knew how old I was. Huh. Like, uh, like this man hit like a Mac, like a grown man, man, like a yeah. Mac. Truck, <laughs> yeah. Nah, then that, that's the year I was going too. So I mean, uh, there was like one year, one year, and this this is like kind of like my breakout year. So like 2013, 2014, I won everything. This is the year. This is like my breakout year. So I, I started at 32. I won the pals, swept through the pals. Then uh, then by January, I was at 38. I didn't get a fight there. That won nobody at 38. And then by what's the name? I was like already. Oh, I was like at one fifty four. I went up from a nine and a half to eleven and a half in shoe size. Like I just was growing, and I was going to the gym every day. Every day I was going to the gym wearing a sauna suit. Every day they was trying to get me down to one thirty two. I mean one thirty eight so bad. And then Ron was just like, man, he growing, man. He he not gonna get down. It was you know, like he Ron, growing. That, that, that's and one then, thing I know about Coach Ron. He stresses yeah. that. He stresses yeah. that. With the weight. He definitely stresses that. Yeah, and I was just like, all right. As a matter of fact, when I when I first met you, Troy, you was ninety pounds. Yeah, I was and ninety. You, yeah, he was wearing those uh, suits, and I said, "Man, don't have this. Let yeah. this boy go." And his father is big. Yeah, he's a big kid. He, I thought you were gonna be one hundred seventy eight pounder, but I, yeah. I fell short. Yeah, yeah. Well, ain't too far. <laughs> ain't too far. I mean, I could. I, I feel like I feel like I finished there. I feel like 68, 75, I finished there for sure. I finished my career there for sure. So you think you for finished sure. what, what cruiserweight like heavy? Nah, I, like heavy, like heavy, like heavy, like heavy, like heavy. Maybe maybe uh 175 at the highest. I don't feel like I got the height for a heavyweight now. They they big right now. All the heavyweights like six eight, and you know they up. That that yeah, small you, heavyweight there. I don't think that's up now. They got that bridge weight now too. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I ain't think about that, but I don't th- I don't see myself getting that big. No, yeah. no bigger. This is 175. Yeah, yeah, Smoke. Uh, one thing about Troy, as, as, as you know, as, as you guys see him fight, and, you know, he, he put, he, you know, he put in that work. Another thing that you guys don't know is that he can box, too. Yeah. You know, like, I've been watching. Yeah. Watching. yeah. Watching. Everybody be thinking all I do is press, Ron. Everybody do be thinking that now. Everybody be thinking that now. But ain't nobody never had that. Ain't nobody gave me the, the chance to really switch it up. But, yeah. I did it a little bit my last fight. But for most Y'all of the part, I've been on my front foot. You, you boxed a little bit. Yeah, I boxed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, dude dude, was, dude came out strong a little bit. That jab was so strong. Just, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, everything like I feel like my jab has gotten better throughout every fight at, at 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 the pro stage. Like my jab has gotten a lot better throughout every fight, and then you know that's what I really been working on my jab, my defense, and like my ring generalship. That's what I really been picking myself to work on because I really got the front foot down packed a little bit. I still got to work on stuff. You could always get better at stuff like that, but I feel like where I really need to improve at is defense, jab, and IQ. Hey Troy, I called that fight. 
It happened just oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, Ron, I, hey, Ron, I screenshotted that, Ron. I screenshotted it. I said, all right, I got you. Body size jab. He going, he going, he going, he going, he going, yeah, he going to take his wrist. Yeah, 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 knock him. He going to take his wrist eventually, yeah. And stay behind the jab, keep throwing body shots, work your combos, and here it come. Here do here, make a mistake. So 2017, what was it, the world championships? Worlds, yeah, yeah. You got the um you got the bronze medal. Yeah. So um, walk us through that. All right, so the just the worlds or just my year on the team? Um the, the worlds or if you want to do the, the okay. on your team. All right. I mean, uh, so I mean, uh, the, 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 my first year, my first year. So I won nationals, uh, first year, 18 years old, first, first, first time elite, uh, first year going elite, swept through the tournament, 18 years old, uh, won, won the thing. And then, uh, got a bronze at chemistry cup in, uh, in May of that year. And then I went to qualifiers. I fought the Cuban gold medal and stuff like that. I felt like, I felt like, uh, you know, I was still growing and stuff like that. So, uh, originally growing up, I wanted to turn pro at 18. But once I got on the team, I realized this grown man strength is different from a grown man to a kid. So I was like, I got to develop and, you know, get my strength up and stuff like that. But the world was the world was crazy, man. I mean, the world was like it was like the Olympics, you know, it was, it was crazy, you know. And uh, I got in there. Uh, I got in there with a uh, with a gypsum guy, beat him. And then. Uh, I fought the Uzbek guy, Israel Madrimov. Tough fight, tough fight, three-two split, and that was a toe-to-toe. -to -toe, you know, what well, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but uh, that was a war. You know, we was in there, we was thumping. Uh, that was a hard fight. Got through him, and then you know, made it to the semis. Fought Alexander Stanislavak. Uh, you know, he, oh, he, he wear, he, you know, wear me down. I feel like I didn't fight the right fight. I was using my legs a little too much, and I got tired a little bit. But I was young, so I mean, uh, I was happy. You know. A lot of people didn't expect me to even get past my dream of. They didn't, they didn't expect me to medal. So, you know, just getting a bronze, you know, at 18 years old, my first year on the team, on the scene, you know, it, it felt great. It felt good to me. Yeah, nah, it did shit. It felt good. It felt good to me and anybody else, too. Yeah. Kay, Kay, Kay was there and I was there, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ron and Kay was there. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. I, I, how was that for you, watching him go through that, um, Coach Ron? Oh, man, you know, it's, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. I mean... Oh, always we've always believed in in Troy and we always will believe in Troy and uh you know Troy is a monster and uh he he represented and you know he fought the the blonde haired dude uh that ended up winning the gold medal I, I thought it was a close it was a close a real close yeah, fight it was close they, uh, they gave it was a split it was a split as a matter of split. fact remember Troy we was talking remember the, the Cuban remember yeah, the Cuban they, we talked about that the Cuban was beating everybody and I and yeah. I was still talking I said hey Troy, I said, you can beat the two Cuban. Just got, nobody got, made it go backwards. Yeah. And then that guy ended up matching up with the Cuban. And, and pushed and them back. And pushed yeah, them back. Beat him. The Cuban. Yeah, yeah the but I, just, I, I was just, we were just talking about that. The Taz guy, yeah, the Cuban was at his peak at that time. He was stopping yeah. people. Yeah, he was at his peak. And then he was, yeah, he was all saying that. He was like, man, ain't nobody pushing back. And you, you, you gave me the example. The example you gave me was he was like Tyson. He was like, look at Tyson in the Holyfield. Like, he was, he was like, look at that fight. That's how you got to fight that fight. I was like, all right, bet. And then the second time I fought him, I was like, I, I, I pushed him back, but it wasn't, it was still boxing, but I pushed him back a little bit. Right. Then in, in 2019, you got another bronze medal, Pan Am yeah. game. You, yeah. was in there with some, you was in there with some hitters. Yeah. I was injured at the Pan Am. At that, at that, at that, that. I mean, I felt like that wasn't my best choice. I, I was injured, so I mean, I was, I was, I was fighting like I was just fighting on hard for real, for real. But I mean, I was injured at the Pan Ams. At the, at the, at the actual Pan Ams, I was injured. At the qualifiers, I won the qualifiers. So I mean, I felt like I felt like uh, I was injured at Pan Ams. I didn't like how it looked, so that's why I sat out Worlds in 2019. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, what age was it? When you went pro, twenty twenty February twenty twenty, uh, I think it was twenty one. Twenty one, about to be twenty two later that year. Twenty one. All right, all right, all right. And um, who 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 was it that you training under? I train I trained under K Caroma. Uh, K Caroma and Dennis Porter. Dennis Porter passed away two years ago. Uh, so you know I added Al Mitchell on my team. 
And then uh, I also trained with, with Coach Study as well. Right. And then when my guy, when my guy Ron was in town, 2020, we got, we got, we got, we got a lot of work in, and uh, you know, even 2021 when when he when he was in town, sometimes you know, me and Ron got a lot of work in, you know, throughout there, and uh, I felt like you know, I, I took a lapse back because I got used to beating up on people, so I got comfortable a little bit. So you know, and Ron let me know, you know, Troy, you kind of stepped back a little bit, and you know, I didn't get mad about it. Uh, you know, we worked on it, and you know. I just been slowly, you know, building myself back. So now I feel like I'm coming back to the original Transformer. All right, all right. Yeah, like with, with Coach Ron, you know, um, you got to take that criticism. You yeah. Coach yeah. Ron only telling people what he think is best for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, like, like I said, like Coach Ron had jumped on me once or twice. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, nah, I know. I told him. I told him, Ron. I was, hey, I was in the gym with you, 2016, Ron. So I know. I know. I know. I was in the gym with Ron. Ron, to tell you, hey. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I, re I remember. Look, look, Troy, Troy, Troy. Be, hey, I'll be working with somebody else. Like, uh, there's some girl that I, was, I don't know what was the girl I was. Working oh, with. oh, and you, she was jumping some stuff like that. You're like, like, <laughs> you're like what all this? What all this? <laughs> It's right, we dying laughing. I was like, what you laughing at, man? <laughs> it was wrong. And then Ron would get on the pads and like everybody else would do it right. And then I guess here say just do something and the person will like do it wrong or something like that. Or Ron, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then go to the next person, go to the next person. So here he'd be with me doing like circle drills or something like that. So yeah, just Ron, Ron don't play, man. I, you know, I respect it though. Ron, Ron, keep it real, man. Mm. All right, so I ask every fighter this. Coming from the amateurs into the pros, what's the differences to you and what is it that you like and don't like? Uh, Well, I mean, I like it a lot. I mean, coming from the amateurs, uh, I feel like uh, the amateurs, you got to rush a lot of things because it's in three rounds. So you got to get in and get your work in. You know, you got to get in, let your hands go. You don't really got time to, to catch a rhythm, you know, just sit back, you know, land one shot, stuff like that. But I like the pros a little better because you can sit back, you can take your time, you can relax, and it's actually about it's actually about the more crisp, crisp, cleaner shots. It's actually about hurting your opponent. It's not just about oh we land four taps and I land one shot, but the four taps wins. Like you know, I like I like the pros. You know, I just the hardest transition for me was just slowing it down a little bit, and then once I got my jab together, it made it a little easier for me to slow it down, and then you know each fight, each fight. It got a little better. But, I mean, actually, everybody says I had a pro style while I was an amateur, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right, all right. So, um, what do you want? Uh, um, 7-0, and oh, right? 6-0, and oh, four knockouts. About to be 7-0. Oh. Four knockouts. All right, cool. So, what you got with, like, an 80% chance of knocking out whoever getting in the ring with you? Yeah. That's like a high fucking percentage, bro. <laughs> that, 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 that's going to stop a lot of people from getting in the ring with you. Yeah, I know it's been it's been hard. We've been we've been trying to get uh you know a little some tougher fights, but people ain't really been taking them. Cause, we cause got, right, we got now, right now you a high risk, low reward. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You gonna put one of them one of them top dudes out. Hey, hey Troy, who who have who have you been sparring with uh for this uh fight? For this fight, uh I, I this fight uh when I'm in Michigan, I don't really be getting a lot of sparring like that. Ain't really a lot of people out there. So I mean, I, I when I'm out there, there's there's like a, a 178 guy I work with, but I don't go all the way off on him. I just use my use my left hand, range Jonas and stuff like that. So I worked with him like three times when I was in Marquette, and then uh, when uh, when I got out here, I sparred today. Actually, my first day out here, I sparred today. I worked with a guy, blazing uh, tall guy. He's from he's from pound for pound. He's pretty good southpaw, slick, tall southpaw, slick. Uh, I worked with him, and uh, my last camp though. Uh, like it's a lot of work out here, so I mean, Cabotillo got a lot of guys. Uh, I was working with Jesse Vargas uh, for my camp April thirtieth. You know, I was working with a lot of people. I worked with uh, Jared Hurd a few times. So I mean, it's 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 a it's a lot it's a lot of people out here. Uh, the 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 the, uh, the the person who got the bronze, the Filipino guy who got the bronze. Yeah, uh, I know him. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I was I was working with him. So I mean, it's 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 it was, it's a lot of it's a lot of different work out here. Usually. We'll be at top rank Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know, a dumbass. It's a lot of people. A lot of people are just be in the gym, so it's a lot of different work, and you get a lot of different looks. Okay. All right, all right. So, um, out of all your fights, 
so far, who was like the hardest fight that you had? Pro fight? Yeah, so far. I don't feel like none of none of them was the hardest. They was hard in some ways, but it was more me me making it hard, you know. But I mean, I feel like uh, hardest. I mean, it'd probably be my pro debut, but it was more me making it hard because I was rushing. You know, I was a little anxious because it was my first time back uh, off a year layoff. Me rushing, me being anxious, and then me being also nervous because it's my first and my pro debut. Stuff like that. So probably my my pro debut. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, and ultimately, what's your main goal in this sport? Uh, I want to be uh, like you. You can't you can't talk about boxing without talking about the years Troy Ozzy was in the sport. That's how I want to be. I want to be that. I want to be the one of the greats. You can't talk about boxing without talking about the years I was in it. My time of boxing without the years that Troy Ozzy was in it, fighting in it. That's that's what I want to be. I want to be one of the greats, multiple world titles, multiple you know unified world champions, and I definitely want to be in the Hall of Fame. The way you put that was was, was great. Um, I ask almost every fighter that, and like they they give me different answers, but that's like one of the best answers I ever heard. Yeah. Hey Troy, you know when you. You know when you said the Hall of Fame, you know that yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, when we, <laughs> when yeah. we went right in 2014, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. that was crazy. That was crazy, man. Uh-huh. Ron had me in front of Zab, Glenn Johnson. Uh, we met. We actually met Ward there. Oh, both of the Spinks, both of the Spinks. What was yeah. Foreman there? Foreman was there. Hey, uh, Aaron Pryor was there. I got my glove signed by everybody. So I mean, that was that was a great experience. That was right before I won the JOs too. Ron took me and Kayvon up there. So that was a great experience though. And um I know I know you spar with a lot of big names. Yeah, yeah. Who, who who was that dude that you was like, yo man, we was in there putting in this work? We should put in this work, put in this work, put in this work. Man, this dude. That way you, you was like, yeah, nah, I know we we both came out of here feeling each other, we gonna have to do this again. Uh, I would say me and Shakur, but me and Shakur is more like a we thinking. We don't we 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 hit each other, but it's more like we thinking. And they'd be like, "Man, y'all don't hit each other." My dad would be like, "Man, I don't want you sponsor Shakur. You don't you don't hit Shakur. You don't hit him. You don't hit him hard enough." I'm like, "Shit, dad, it ain't that easy to hit him. Like, it ain't that easy to hit this dude. Like, this dude is <laughs> you got to be smart, or you gonna get hit." <laughs> So like you gotta think. So I yeah, mean, nah. you can say Shakur. You can say Shakur. Uh, I worked with Boots back in 2016. Uh, we went up to Philly. It was a that was pretty good. Uh, I worked with I worked with Swift. Uh, you know, two camps. That was that was good work. I worked with Crawford. Uh, two camps it was good work. So I mean, definitely a lot of people for sure. Working with um, Working with Shakur is it, it, it got to be crazy because I, I see yeah. him. Somebody released him sparring with um Jared Miller, Jared Anderson. Jared Anderson, yeah, yeah. He was giving Jared Anderson some work. Yeah, Jared Shakur get anybody work, man. Shakur, 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 skillful. I know Shakur, so I'm, I I believe in Shakur. Every they always ask me who you got against Shakur, and I always say I got Shakur. Shakur, yeah, nah, Shakur, got- he can go in there against anybody, man. He got the perfect IQ. He just always know what to do. He's smart. Perfect IQ. He worked hard. Ring generalship. He just he just got it all, and he, he he's smart. Just the overall always, boxing mind. Always know what to do. I was always convinced, and Coach Ron will make sure you stay convinced when it comes to Shakur. I was always convinced, but after I seen that sparring, I'm like, I know this is sparring, but come on, man, this man is huge. Shakur looked like an ant in there with him, and he cannot touch Shakur. Everything yeah. he Shakur weaving it and just moving out the way. And, and catching him with that pulling, that the pull counter, I'm just like, oh my god, this this, this kid is super different. He's an alien. Yeah. Hey, 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 I got a question for you uh, concerning Shakur. Have you ever uh, have Shakur ever hit you to the body? You ever yeah, yeah, him? yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sure? Left straight, straight left to the body, plenty of times. Stab <laughs> to the body, plenty of times. People More, say he, people say he don't have no power. <laughs> yeah, they crazy. They crazy. They crazy. So cool got power, man. He, they crazy. They definitely crazy, and they they definitely sting too. 
They sting. They everything. They hurt. You don't want to get. You don't want to get hit by core, man. Core know how to place them. Everything for sure. All right. Um, we got um my man Dusty Storm in here. He asked. He said, "You think you can mess with Roly?" I know the answer to that. I, I ain't Roly not my size, man. Actually, but I mean, brother. it's not my size. But come on, man. You know, I walk Roly down, man. I already know the answer to that, man. You tear Roly up, brother. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's already easy work, man. That. I already know the answer to that. You know, I'm thinking oh, about I Ill respect Will. him. Much respect to him, Ill though. Will he's already. Will. You said, you said who? <laughs> yeah, it will, yeah. Uh-huh. You don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it, Smoke. You don't know, you don't know Ill Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a dude named Ill Will that um, me and Ron be talking to during the day on Clubhouse. And he, mm-hmm. he loved Roly. It's just something about Roly. He, he think Roly could beat everybody. Your boy, he think that he told us that Roly will knock out Errol Spence. Yeah. I looked at him like you. I'm like, bro, you got to be out of your mind, man. You I wouldn't even talk. Way. I wouldn't even talk boxing with him after that. <laughs> you, know I mean? you don't even. You just, 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 just kick him out every every time he join the club. Just, just kick him out. Or mute, or mute, <laughs> mute everything. Just mute him because that's 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 the craziest thing I didn't ever hear. He can beat Earl Spence. I was oh, saying, yeah, Lord. just mute him, mute him, kick him out, or kick him out the live. He shouldn't even be allowed to talk about boxing no more. <laughs> for real, for real. So mm-hmm. who, who's that fighter? You know what I'm saying? That you you looking at like, yeah, yo, bro, I gotta, I, I gotta get in the ring with him before I retire. I, I have to. Right now. For sure, I see uh I want I want Canelo for sure. Canelo for sure. Uh I see a lot of a lot of Canelo and uh later on down the line, I ain't gonna lie, I like I like Benavidez. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see how that would be. I like that so. I like that so. But now you know. You go out there and start knocking them out and, and boxing and hit their heads off and moving and grooving. You know what you know what Canelo gonna tell you, right? You ain't you you ain't you ain't you ain't fought nobody. Hey, you ain't hey, fought hey, nobody. Hey, you ain't fought nobody. Hey, payday, payday, payday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell you, <laughs> who are you? Fuck out of here. You know. Mm-hmm. Hey, what payday, man? Fuck hey, out of here, man. man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell you, uh-huh. who are you? Fuck out of here. You know, what I'm saying? So you know how you know how that go, man. You know how that go. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, you gotta do you, brother. Like we be backing you over here, definitely. Definitely. I appreciate that. Appreciate that, bro. You over here, man. Like I said, man, cool. Once Coach Ron, I was already watching, but once Coach Ron mentioned your name and the way they was talking, I'm like, yeah, this dude got to be the goods. I'm just going to keep watching them definitely now. And I did my research, man. You got the goods, brother. Appreciate it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see you up there and with those type of names, the Canelos and the um, the Benavidez's, the Charlos. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know, like, you know, um, I, I, I believe Jamel – Get ready to he try going to up, yeah. He going up for sure. Yeah, he that, going that's up. right in your lane, right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like moving up, and and not for nothing that that that'd be a good one with him moving up to 160. Right, right. That's you know a good one later. A good one later down the line. Definitely. Yeah, and I forgot. I forgot about Charlo too. That Jamal Charlo, def, Jamel is definitely somebody I definitely see myself getting the ring with for sure. Like I gotta get past him. To be where I'm gonna be at for sure. I definitely see that happening in the future for sure. I see, definitely that, feel like I can beat him for sure. I definitely feel like he don't pro. He just got power, honestly. Mm-hmm. That's all he got. And then I think just by the by the time that I get to that level, I have it all for real, for real. Yeah, now nah, now nah, your 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 boxing to be superb, and, and that's what um Charlo mostly got problems with. You see yeah. how Tony Harrison was handling them, and so yeah. and Tony Harrison got lax. Got you know cool. Guy showing off too much, doing all that dancing, and then got clipped. Yeah, yeah. They have they didn't have him winning the fight anyway, so he wasn't gonna win that fight. They had him losing the fight. So I mean, it was cool. I thought he was winning the second fight, but they were they didn't have him. Yeah, I, I, I had him. I had I had him lose the, the first fight, but I definitely yeah, I had, had him. him I had him lose. Yeah, I had him. I had him lose the first fight too, for sure. I had, him, I had him losing. You know what I'm saying, um, who who's your top five um fighters of all time? All time. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit biased. Like, you might be saying it's a bunch of undefeated people, but hey, I, this is my top five uh, for sure. Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go James Tony. That's my that's my favorite. I love him the way James Tony. I always watch him to this day. Uh, James Tony, uh, I like Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield. I like George Foreman. Big Foreman. Big George. Before, I'm going to go Andre Ward. And then fifth, I'm going to go Sugar Ray Leonard. That's super respectable. That's super respectable. Super duper respectable. Yeah. This, those are my, those, those people I like to watch. And hey, that's my top five. Man. You, you can say, hey, them, you know, ain't good, but hey, fuck it. I like it. That's, that's my right, top dude, five they, all the time. That's a respectable top five. Those are all great champions. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do an interview real quick. Who? Uh, yeah, I'm going to ride with them real quick. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, those those are my guys, man. Especially James Tony. Yeah, um, my man Mikado, Mikado um Henson said that he looking to um pray with you again on fight day. Yeah, yeah me and Mikado, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get a good prayer in every every fight day for sure, man. You know, I'm a big believer in God for sure. Big believer in God. I don't go to yeah. church, but I talk to him every day. <laughs> I don't go to church, but hey, I talk to God. I thank him for the life he gave me. I thank him for the family, the friends, you know. I thank him all the time. Talk to him. That's peace. Um, Dusty Stone got another question for you. He said, is um, Andre, Andre, um, you know, Bobo, is, you see him as one of your future opponents? I see him as one of my future opponents, but I think he moving up to 68 soon. So I don't see him right now. I see him more later down the line, maybe. More later right. on down the line. All right, all right. Coach Ron, you got any more questions for the um the young bull? No, I don't have any questions, but I, it's, it's good to talk to you, Troy. Always great, you know, great to talk to you. And uh, you know, I'm behind you one hundred percent, one thousand percent. You know, you nah. know that. Man, nah, always, Ron. I, I appreciate you, Ron. I you know, I thank you, you know, for the advice. You know, I always appreciate the help. And you know, I'm, I was always, you know, I'm definitely blessed to have you a part of my life, you know. And it's always good talking to you as well. Yeah, yo, my, my brother, I don't want to hold either one of y'all up no longer. You know, I know you got training to do tomorrow. And I know Coach Ron probably going to be in there training tomorrow too. So I don't want to hold your brothers up no longer. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want to thank both of you guys um, for giving me your time, coming up on my platform, you know what I'm saying, helping me grow. Um, Or thank you. Both of you guys. All right. Thank you, Smoke. I appreciate it. Now, definitely, you a Coach Ron. You know, I'm definitely going to have I'm gonna have you back up here, man. We, we getting that Coach Ron interview as well. Definitely, we getting that Coach Ron interview. You know what I'm saying? Um, Troy, you still there? I think, you, I think you in the Matrix right. a little bit. Hello? Yeah, yeah, my fault, my fault. Yeah, now, now you I had moved, and yeah, my fault. Um, what I was going to say, um, tell him again. Your um your next fight, tell them where they can find find you. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Uh in- Instagram, Boxboy Troy One. Uh Facebook, Troy Asley. And uh Twitter, uh GOAT Transformer. And all all caps on the GOAT. And then uh you catch me live August 13th, ESPN plus, TFMO Lopez card. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a show. Two in there. All right, all right. Um, Coach Ron, let, let them know where they can find you at, too, Coach Ron. Wow, you put me on the spot, Smoke. I celebrate Coach Ron. He know that. I'm on Instagram. Uh, I think it's, I don't know if it's Tag Boxer 2 or Ron mm-hmm. Sam. That's Tag Boxer 2. Uh, and that's it. We're hey, and, um, definitely um, you can um, catch us on um, Punch by Punch on Clubhouse. Yes. Definitely catch us on there. Um again, yo, thanks both of you fellas for Sir stopping. Boxing as well. Sir boxing as well. That's a daily yeah. thing. And I, I appreciate yeah. you too, bro, for having me on, bro. Sure. Now definitely bro. That, bro. we definitely gonna do it again. Um I'm gonna hit you up um in your DMs. You know what I'm saying? I got my um sure. I got my, my, my merch, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you something black influence with. Um again, thank, thank you for coming up, man. Thank you for giving me your time. You know what I'm saying? Um it was a great one. 
to the people, thank y'all for everybody coming through. You know what I'm saying? The Smoke With Me TV, rolling up another one, about to end this type of. Peace and blessings, man. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, man. Thank you, fellas. All right. Peace. Thanks.